Hello students, welcome back. We're going to continue with our physiological responses. Today's lecture will be focused on the tropic hormones, those controlling hormones. Shown here is an abbreviated version of what we did last time for the items of interest, the ones we'll be focusing on today. Let's start first with the thyroid gland. Now as we've shown here, the thyroid gland produces thyroid hormone, TH. Now the thyroid gland cannot produce thyroid hormone of its own accord. The thyroid gland is stimulated by another hormone, and that hormone is thyroid stimulating hormone. Let's indicate that one here. The thyroid stimulating hormone is abbreviated TSH. Thyroid stimulating hormone is secreted by the anterior pituitary gland. Let's look next at the adrenal gland. The adrenal cortex produces cortisol. However, the adrenal cortex cannot produce cortisol of its own accord. It is stimulated by another hormone, and that hormone is adrenocorticotropic hormone. Let's indicate that one here. Adrenocorticotropic hormone is secreted by the anterior pituitary. Let's look next at the gonads. The gonads produce our sex hormone. The ovaries produce estradiol and the testes produce testosterone. However, these structures cannot produce these hormones of their own accord. The gonads are stimulated by two hormones, follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. Let's indicate those here. Follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone stimulate the ovaries and the testes to produce estradiol and testosterone, respectively. Let's look next at the liver. We didn't really talk about this one last time. One of the tropic hormones plays an important role in the body. So let's talk about the liver. The liver produces a hormone that's very important for growth. It is similar to insulin. It's called insulin-like growth factor 1. So let's indicate that one here. Insulin-like growth factor 1 is abbreviated IGF-1. Now, of its own accord, the liver cannot produce this growth factor. It is stimulated by another hormone. And we talked about this hormone already, but not in the context of a tropic hormone. And this hormone is growth hormone. So growth hormone stimulates the liver to secrete insulin-like growth factor 1. Growth hormone is stimulated by another endocrine structure, and that is the anterior pituitary. Shown here are the growth hormones secreted by the anterior pituitary. However, the anterior pituitary can produce none of these tropic hormones of its own accord. The anterior pituitary is acted on by a higher power, and that higher power is the hypothalamus. Let's see the role that hypothalamus plays in these tropic hormones. Let's start again with the thyroid gland. Now we can see here the anterior pituitary secretes thyroid stimulating hormone, and the thyroid stimulating hormone stimulates the thyroid gland to produce the thyroid hormones. The anterior pituitary is acted on by another hormone. This hormone is thyrotropin releasing hormone. So let's indicate that here. Thyrotropin releasing hormone stimulates the anterior pituitary to release thyroid stimulating hormone. And thyrotropin releasing hormone is secreted by the hypothalamus. Let's look next at the adrenal cortex. As we mentioned earlier, adrenal corticotropic hormone is secreted by the pituitary, the anterior pituitary. There's a hormone which stimulates the anterior pituitary to release adrenal corticotropic hormone. And this hormone is corticotropin releasing hormone. Let's indicate that one here. Corticotropin releasing hormone stimulates the anterior pituitary to release ACTH. And corticotropin releasing hormone is secreted by the hypothalamus. Let's look next at our gonads. We have two hormones here, follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. These hormones are secreted by the anterior pituitary. However, there is another hormone that stimulates the anterior pituitary to release these hormones. And this hormone is gonadotropin releasing hormone. Let's indicate that here. Gonadotropin releasing hormone is abbreviated GNRH with a small n. Now, GNRH stimulates the anterior pituitary to release luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. And gonadotropin releasing hormone is secreted by the hypothalamus. And our last structure was the liver. Remember, the liver secretes insulin like growth factor, which causes muscle and bone growth. Growth hormone stimulates the liver to secrete IGF 1. Growth hormone is secreted by the anterior pituitary. There's a hormone that stimulates the anterior pituitary to release growth hormone, and that hormone is growth hormone releasing hormone. So let's indicate that one here. Growth hormone releasing hormone stimulates the anterior pituitary to release growth hormone. And growth hormone is secreted by the hypothalamus. And these are all of the tropic hormones that are of interest to us. Let's do a brief review. Let's start with the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland produces thyroid hormones. The thyroid gland is stimulated by thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, which is secreted by the anterior pituitary. The anterior pituitary is acted on by thyrotropin releasing hormone, and this hormone is secreted by the hypothalamus. The next one is the adrenal cortex. The adrenal cortex produces cortisol. Cortisol production is stimulated by the hormone, adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH, which is secreted by the anterior pituitary. The anterior pituitary is stimulated by corticotropin releasing hormone, and corticotropin releasing hormone is secreted by the hypothalamus. The gonads produce either estradiol or testosterone. They're stimulated by follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. These hormones are produced by the anterior pituitary. FSH and LH are secreted by the anterior pituitary. The anterior pituitary is stimulated by gonadotropin releasing hormone, GNRH. Gonadotropin releasing hormone is secreted by the hypothalamus. Our last endocrine structure of interest was the liver. The liver produces insulin like growth factor. This insulin like growth factor is stimulated by growth hormone, which is secreted by the anterior pituitary. And the anterior pituitary is stimulated by growth hormone releasing hormone, which is secreted by the hypothalamus. And these are all the tropic hormones and releasing factors for which you are responsible. And that completes this lecture. Hopefully, you've learned a lot.